Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can download all of your Google Drive files at once. So here we are in Google Drive and there's a couple of different ways we can do this. First of all, if you don't have that many files, you can just select all of your files here in Drive. So I'm in the My Drive section of Google Drive at drive.google.com and I'm just going to hold down Shift as I select my files and folders. Once I've selected all the files and folders in my account, I can right click and then I can click on download. You'll notice that it prepares a zip download and it will download them to my computer. Now the problem is is when you have so many files and folders that it's on multiple pages here in Google Drive it becomes too many to do this with. You can't just shift click and download all of them. So let's take a look at another way. To download all of them at once if you have a lot in your account you need to access myaccount.google.com. From myaccount.google.com we can go to this section called data and personalization. From here, we're going to scroll down a little bit, and you'll notice that there's a section down here where it says download, delete, or make a plan for your data. There's a button that says download your data. Now this allows us, this uses a system called Google Takeout, which allows us to download all of the data in our Google account. So when we look at this screen, you'll notice that there's a lot of different services in here that aren't just Google Drive. So you could download your data for these services as well if you wanted to. So I'll let you take a look at that, but for now I'm just going to deselect all and I'm just going to find Google Drive. Okay, here we go. So it's Drive, so we're just going to click the checkbox to select Drive. Now notice we have some options here. First of all, we can select the formats of the files that we'd like to download. So right now for our documents, they're going to put it in docx format. For our drawings, they're going to be JPEG. Presentations are going to be PowerPoint, spreadsheets, Excel. Uh, so you could click to change these, you know, you, you could download to a PDF if you wanted to instead of a docx. So I'll let you take a look at that. When you're ready, go ahead and hit OK. And then notice there's also some advanced settings. In here, it just allows us to download additional data and information regarding your files. Uh, to just get the basic file, you don't need to do this, but if you want like all of the revision history and timestamps and all that sort of thing, you might want to turn this on. Uh, we'll take up a little more space. That's up to you. And then we can click this last option right here. And you'll just notice that we could have selected specific folders to download. Uh, by default, it's going to include all of the files and folders in Drive. So you could deselect some if you wanted to. Uh, but I'm just going to download all of them, so I'll hit OK. And then now we'll go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom. And we'll click on Next Step. It asks us how we want our files delivered, so we can get the link via email, that's fine. Uh, what's our other option here? Uh, so notice that you know that's our main option if we want to actually get them to our computer. Obviously, we don't want to add them to Drive. Uh, remember, we could be downloading files that are outside of Drive, so that's why that's an option here. I know that seems counterintuitive, but we'll just get the link to our email, and then we'll just download it to our computer. And so we're just exporting it once, and we want it to be a zip file. Uh, that's fine. And we can choose if we want to split the zip files. We can choose what size we'd like to split out. If you're unsure what this is, I would just leave it at the 2 gigabyte default. Um, which means that if it's larger than two gigabytes, it will split the file into multiple files, but it shouldn't be, it's just some documents. So then we'll go ahead and click on Create Export. So now it's going to go ahead and it's going to create that export. Okay, so there you go, you can see that export has now been created, and earlier we selected that we wanted to get an email link, but notice now that we've finished it, uh, we have this option to uh, just download. So we can click on Download, and you can see that uh, we are now downloading a takeout zip file. If I click to open that, you'll notice that it unzips, and I have this folder called Drive, and these are the folders that we had back here in Google Drive, right here. So you can see that we've downloaded all of the files and folders in our Drive. Uh, so those are the two different options. Uh, you can either just select them if you don't have that many here in Drive, right click, and then click on Download, or you can go to takeout.google.com or I got there by going to myaccount.google.com. I showed you the full way around just to kind of give you an idea of how it all works, but uh, you could directly go to takeout.google.com and access Google Takeout. Just remember to only select Google Drive, select the files that you'd like to download, and you can download them to your computer. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.